each year on November 11th, we meet to honor all veterans, past and present, especially those from Washington. The Legion believes it is important to keep this tradition alive, and we appreciate everyone's attendance this morning. There will always be conflicts and wars, and the need for servicemen and women will always be with us. We can show future veterans that they will always be supported in their hometown by our actions and words we speak today. I would like to read you a poem about Veterans Day. This poem is called Think a Veteran by Brittany Schiffersburg. Think a Veteran. Today is the day we honor the noble and the brave, the men and women who dedicated their lives and the sacrifices that they have made. When America had an urgent need, they were <coughs> first to raise their hand. Without thinking twice about it, they were proud to take a stand. Some came back from war with battle scars, others in flapped, draped coffins. Even though their flesh may have left, their spirits will never be forgotten. They unselfishly and knowingly put their lives on the line. So when you see a veteran, thank them, because without them, freedom would have died. Thank you. Uh, I started about four years ago doing a bio on the 12 Hakkin men who lost their lives in World War II. And uh, with the help of uh, Arthur Lowell and his wife, today I'm able to honor Arthur's brother, George Roland Lowell. George Roland Lowell was born on April 23, 1923. He was the sixth child of Frank and Florence Lowe, and, <coughs> excuse me, and grew up on Hayden Row Street. He graduated from Hopkins High School and was the captain of the 1940 <coughs> football team. <coughs> he enlisted in the U.S. Army on February 13, 1943, and received his tra initial training at Fort Devens and Camp Lowe, Texas as well as Camp Livingston, Louisiana, and Camp San Luis, uh, California. After six months of training, he returned to Massachusetts and left for overseas. I'm involved. <coughs> you guys are committed. You veterans are committed. You have the most dangerous job ever. And thank God that you guys all came back, and you're sitting here listening to me. I did nothing. The, di the difference between involved and committed in, an egg, in, a, in a Sunday morning breakfast, the egg is involved. The pig on a ham and egg breakfast is committed. <laughs> so from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys. <coughs> and there's nothing I can say that would even begin to portray the admiration and support that I have for you guys. Thank you very much. You know, whatever we say or whatever we can do really is not enough to, we pay our debt to, uh, to our veterans, but we do what we can and we try. We had our 150th anniversary uh, down at St. John's, and we had a banquet over at, the, at, at Milford, the Double Tree. We concluded our banquet. We all stood up. There was an American flag there. We all sang, God bless America. I'd like to impose upon you, uh, I can't sing a hoot. Uh, and, uh, please stand. And let's sing, God bless America.